I just wanted to take issue with your very first slide, or maybe ask a question. You said there were five or 6,000 cases per year. Is that worldwide? Because it's my understanding that the figure for GIST in the UK is nearer eight or 900. I think that's probably the world figure, yes. Yeah, or the American figure, yeah. American figure, yes. Yeah, American figure, yeah. 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 Any, any other questions? I think for a three-day preparation time, he's done fantastic. <laughs> 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 right, that's it. Yes, could I ask him? Thank you for I'm not sure it's working anyway, but... Uh, could I ask um, why we, we, you're now not doing such radical surgery when there's a GIST? Is it um, that there's a more understanding of how, how GIST um, attaches and attacks the body and so on, that you don't need to do such radical uh, surgery and therefore you can use laparoscopy? Which that, that's absolutely correct, yes. We, know, we now know that um, if we can, if we, we can't reduce, this, we can't resect, that we give a chemotherapy, although the data is not very strong, that response rate is much better with Gleevec than doing radical resection. And we can delay the surgery later on, and, but we need to closely monitor the patients. And we now know that the GIST behave differently, uh, is not as radical, uh, as, as aggressive as other type of cancer. So I think all we need to do is do a R0 resection, a local R0 resection. I'm not talking about R2 resection, but still R0 resection, but try to not take too much tissue, like what they do for gastric cancer, for example. Yeah. Right, anybody else? Is this working? I had successful liver resection in 2008 and it did a phenomenal job of growing back but it's not in the right position. I keep asking Dr. Belusa if this is going to cause any problem. What do you think? Uh, it's, you mean that the regenerated part of liver is yes. in the no oh, right? The <laughs> liver <laughs> <number. laughs> I don't know which part of liver they removed, but it's a difficult. In Europe, some people will fix the liver after operation. They'll fix to where it was before, mm -hmm. because once the liver operation is done, the liver whole liver is freed. Liver is attached to the diaphragm, which is just separating uh, tummy from the chest, as well as attached to this vein called the inferior vena cava, which drains all the blood from the legs to the chest. Uh, so when we do the liver operation, we completely free the attachment to the diaphragm, so the whole liver can rotate on this uh, on this vein. So that's a way to do, do liver resection. So obviously, if they remove major part of liver and then the regenerated part of liver is on the other side, may push the liver to different places. But generally speaking, liver will fix body will fix the liver itself from additions from all the uh, all the other things. Uh, happening in the body, so the liver will fix fix itself inside, but shouldn't cause major problem. I never. Today, but I <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe it's uncomfortable. One side be the full, and I, I, no, but it doesn't actually. It, so long as the function of the liver is okay, we tend not to worry about the size, and uh, you know, in the anatomical location of the liver. My just reoccurred in, in the lungs, <coughs> and so far the liver is fine. Do you think that? Is it likely to come back to the liver? Or? Uh, that's a very good question. Increasingly, because the, the chemotherapy become more effective and patients survive much longer. So when we clear the liver tumor, liver metastasis, we find more people having lung tumor now because they, moved, they seem to have moved from one side to another. I think it's a biological feature of the tumor may have changed. So it's, very, it's unlikely you will have liver tumor. I think the lung tumor will remain so, and then I think we need to tackle that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Anybody else? Yes? Mm -hmm. um, I was quite interested when you talked about the R1 resection being uh, a small margin of less than two millimeters. Is that how you define an R1 resection? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, no, R zero resection. So I have to get at least two millimeter margin. You can debate and uh, uh, two millimeter, two centimeter. And generally speaking, two millimeter is a margin. If you can get a clear margin, less or over two millimeter, that's you get a clear margin R zero. So if you have 
Let's say you have a one millimeter. Yeah, that means positive. Then you're R one. Yeah, R one. Yeah. And what significance does that have? Uh, if you look at the long-term data, I mean, if you have R one resection, the chance for recurrence is very high, uh, local recurrence and sometimes re a systemic recurrence. So always try to do R zero resection. Yeah. So would that then make a patient high risk? Uh, yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, ha -ha. Can you do a liver transplant? Uh, for GIST? Yeah. Uh, I think Steve Jobs did have liver transplant for pancreatic cancer, but generally speaking, we don't, in, well, in the world, we don't do transplant for metastatic tumor. Um, because when the tumor moved to the liver, and then the, they move systemically, the surrounding area as well. Liver is only one organ affected, but you know, recurrence rate will be high, so the chance for tumor to come back to the liver, even give somebody a new liver, is, remains high. So on, on, unless we have very effective systemic chemotherapy, say we can increase lamppost, completely eradicate the tumor cells in the body, I think liver transplant is probably not wise. Uh, it's a very difficult question to answer. I think the chemotherapy is key, and then, like what I said, we target the ones we think are viable, contains viable tumor cells by doing PET scan, CT scan, target those uh, who, are, who which has a PET positive tumor as well as a solid tumor. That's the only thing we do at the moment, currently what we do at the moment, but not to, uh, you can't afford to remove all the tumor. And increasingly, we're doing some other studies like, uh, uh, but the gist is not radio, uh, 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 act, uh, radio sensitive. So uh, unfortunately, the options are limited, limited option, yeah, for uh, hundreds of tumors.